Hello my loves, welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. I have started two books this week already. I've got like five books on my currently reading list but we'll not talk about that. What we will talk about are the ones I'm actually currently reading in terms of like actively doing it. Ominous Blue Glow, I'm currently doing reading sprints with Becca. Patreon reading sprints. So that is what I'll be doing for most of this evening. And I'm hoping to do a lot of reading in the progress because I have started reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout. And I have been so excited to start this book. I'm hoping this is going to get me out of me sulking about books being meh recently. Oh, my arm's aching already. Why have I never gotten used to this? So this is a fantasy romance that I am reading for my Patreon book club. It's I read for March and April. And I'm so excited that my patrons chose this one because it means I have to read it at last. This one follows a girl called Poppy who is waiting for her ascension day. She is the maiden. She is meant to abide by all these rules and like stay locked in a tower, basically not communicate with many people, not find pleasure in anything because they don't want her to be tainted in any way for her ascension day. So she's waiting for that to come along. However, there is also this god outside who is meant to be seeing her through to her ascension day. And with it being a fantasy romance, you can probably guess where this is going. So I am anticipating the whole forbidden romance trope. This is already very different to what I thought it would be because I'm only 80 pages in. I was expecting to find her in a tower, literally not speaking to anybody, not doing anything. It's not that when you start at all. There's already been some action in here. There's already been like dramatic things happening. There's already been death. And I am just so intrigued. I'm also very intrigued by the fantasy elements because not many people seem to talk about that, but our main character, you know from page one, has some kind of like ability to feel people's pain and emotions, or it might just be pain. It's not yet too clear what she can actually do. I'm very, very intrigued to find out. And there's these like weird, mysterious creatures that seem to be like ravishing the land and yeah, just so many questions. Very much looking forward to get back into this. I am going to listen along with the audiobook. I haven't done so yet, but I am going to turn it on during the rest of these sprints and give it a go. I am also reading You by Caroline Kepner, which I borrowed off Becca. This is one of her favorite books. And I'm buddy reading this with Zafina from The Psychonics. And yeah, uh, this one's about Stalker and it's from the Stalker's perspective. That's literally, what it is. It's a guy stalking a woman and as you can probably guess it's a thriller from that. So I am about 100 pages into this one. <laughs> it's very blunt. It's very straightforward. It's very to the point. It's very abrasive in terms of he just goes straight in there talking about the sexual stuff. It's very annoying in the sense that you can tell he is pretty pretentious. You can tell that he, I mean he does kind of know everything but like he's putting a lot of assumptions onto other people. But it's also really intriguing and really fascinating to be in somebody's head like that. It's fascinating to see what you can discover just from seeing what's on social media. It is like a weird addictive thing to read because you're just like, okay, but what is he gonna do with this information? It's already taken like such a casual but intense turn because we very quickly went from just like observing to doing stuff that's just awful and like he was swinging a machete around and stuff so I was like whoa where did that come from? <laughs> so I feel like this is going to be a very dramatic one but in a very like casual way in terms of everything is just normal for him and because we're reading from his perspective we're automatically aligned that way. Yeah it's it's one that's unsettling but in a intriguing way as a reader. I'm intrigued to see where this goes but yes for now I am going to be Continuing on with From Blood and Ash and we're doing dice sprints, which means that if we roll a double, we have to swap books. So maybe I will swap back to reading you. Maybe I won't. We shall see. But I'll update you later this evening. squad. <laughs> I have been truly awful of vlogging this week because it's now Thursday night and I've barely told you anything so that whole part of the reset challenge. Okay so the reset challenge itself which if you don't know what I'm talking about I started it last week I will leave a link to the vlog in which I explain that down in the description box 
but it's going okay so far like it's going pretty well actually apart from the spark clearly so there were like four main things i wanted to do one was wake up early the initial goal was 7 a.m then i shifted it to 7 30 most of the days this week i've woken up at 7 15. another goal was to exercise regularly i've been doing that another one was to finish work by 8 p.m i've done that so it is just the regular reading updates in the vlogs that i need to get better at doing Clearly I failed this week, but I'm hoping to actually keep you up to date for the rest of this week because I am really, really enjoying reading from Blood and Ash. I am about 200 pages in now and I'm just, it's so addictive in a way that's also reminding me of my teenage years. I can't remember if I provided the context of this before, but I have actually read Jennifer Lamontrap before, so I read her when I was a teenager hated a romance like with every fibre of my being and she still managed to win me over basically. I've read one of her contemporaries and one of her fantasy books. Absolutely loved them but just never continued on at that age. So now that I'm reading this I'm just like I can feel how addictive her writing is and I can't pinpoint why because it's definitely not perfect. For instance I would say the world building is lacking somewhat because there are a lot of things that I am questioning more often than I would do if I was reading, I don't know, some other book. But <laughs> there are a lot of things that haven't yet been explained. I don't know if they will be explained. Becca has said that a lot of it will make sense come the end. There are a lot of different creatures with lots of different names. There is also just like things that are standard to our main character Poppy, which hasn't been explained to us. Like she has some kind of ability to be able to feel people's pain. You know that from page one, but it hasn't yet been explained why she has this why she's the only person with this ability or like any ability. It also hasn't explained yet why she's so important as one of the Ascended because as somebody waiting for her Ascension Day because I thought it was just her but you again you learn pretty quickly in the book that this is actually a fairly common thing and there's a lot of people who go through an Ascension Day so I don't understand why her Ascension is so important. I don't know if it's going to be explained, I kind of hope it does. At the same time none of that is hindering my enjoyment because it is addictive, very addictive. I keep finding myself falling into it and wanting to read more chapters which is surprising because I feel like the chapters in this book are pretty long. I don't know, something's keeping me turning the pages. I really love the dialogue specifically between Poppy and Tawny. I love Tawny so much. I'm hesitant to say that because it could end badly but I do. <laughs> and yeah, the tension's building, things are occurring. It's starting to get dramatic. So I am excited to see where it goes. Probably read some more tomorrow, so I will check in with you then. And I'm also planning to read more of you tomorrow. So more reading updates are incoming, but otherwise I haven't really done too much. I feel very bored this week. I'm restless for something to happen but nothing's happening, <laughs> which is weird because I'm doing all the same stuff that I usually do. But I think it's just because I've got like big plans going on in the background and like I'm just waiting for those to come to fruition. But it's just a wasting game at the minute. One thing I can tell you about is I have officially set up the Twitter page for a readathon that I'm going to be hosting in May. So there will be an announcement video explaining everything. In the final full week of May from the 24th to the 30th, I am going to be hosting a readathon. As I said, the Twitter page is set up. I spent this evening drawing basically and like designing some kind of graphics for it because I needed it to look like something. But yes, I have officially gone ahead with that. I've had this readathon like idea in my head since November. So it's been a long time coming. There has been a lot of to and froing between whether I would do it or not because it was initially planned for March. March didn't happen so I pushed it back to April, April didn't happen, pushed it back to May and then because I didn't do the announcement at the beginning of April like I hoped, I wasn't going to do it at all because I was just like it's clearly not going to happen but we're going to make it happen and we're going to do it. So announcement pending that will be coming very very soon. I just need to figure out what's actually going to happen during the week. <laughs> I've got some ideas but you know I need to put stuff in place so that's very exciting to have on the horizon. So yeah with all that being said I am going to go to sleep because it's very very late and you know reset challenge means I'm getting up early <laughs> but it is Friday tomorrow so that's a good thing. I'll check in with you tomorrow.
have some weird lighting going on today, but it's currently snowing, which is ridiculous. I swear it was a couple of weeks ago that I was literally walking around the woodland with no coat on, really happy that spring had sprung. It's literally snowing, like not even a little bit. It's, it's heavy snowing. <laughs> I'm so surprised, but it does mean that we've got uh, some weird greyness in the air today. Anyway, it is now Saturday. I'm currently doing reading sprints with my loves, that being Jade, Becca and Steph. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm not quite sure, but I've had a quite a productive sprinting session. I have started filming a video which you guys won't actually see for a little while, but the first two sprints I spend filming that because it's the sort of video that will be coming together in pieces and then like editing into one full video. So I filmed that feeling very productive. I am going to be selling books on Depop, so I've just kind of collected those together. I've also written down notes for tomorrow's interview because I am going to be interviewing Justin T. Cole. It will have already happened by the time this video goes up, but I will leave a link to it down below if you want to watch it afterwards. So I came up with some questions for that and yeah, I'm glad that I did that much at least because like I said, it's happening tomorrow, so I've been anxious to get the questions done. So now that can be off my brain until it's actually happening tomorrow. And now I'm going to spend the rest of the sprints continuing from Blood and Ash. I'm now around halfway through. I love the dialogue. I love it. Like the witty banter that's going on through it is just making me laugh so much. I'm really, really enjoying it. So I will pop back in and give you an update once I've read some more because I don't have any further updates yet, but I do have 24 minutes of the sprint left and I don't know how many more sprints we're going to be doing. So I'm hoping to get quite a bit read. I do have the Truth Witch live show tonight as well. It's a very live show heavy weekend, but I don't mind that so much because it's all exciting stuff. So I'm hoping, as I said, to do some more reading. I'll probably read for the the rest of these sprints and probably a little bit in the evening before we do the live show because the live show isn't until 9 p.m. I should be able to do it beforehand and yeah hopefully make some good progress because ideally I would love to finish this tomorrow. Whether that happens or not is a very different matter because I've still got about 300 pages left so let's just see how much progress we can make. <laughs> I literally just turned my camera back on and of course the very first conversation that happens while I'm live with my camera on, is about what to call certain areas of a man's body. And reading out a journal that was basically someone's sex life. But also, banter between two people. So, <laughs> I've just snorted so loud. Luckily, the microphone was not on, but I just snorted and then cackled and it was just a whole moment, so. <laughs> oh God. Oh my god, that. That was, <laughs> that was probably one of the most intense chapters I've ever read in a book. Jesus Christ. I genuinely feel like I need a break after that. I don't know whether it's because I'm also listening to it. So both taking in everything that's just, <laughs> Everything that's just happened. Oh. <laughs> I'm genuinely like just in awe and shocked and disbelieving that so much happened. Wow. <sighs> I'm still on the live stream as well, so I genuinely just had like the ultimate poker face because my brain was just internally screaming, like actual screeching throughout that entire thing. <sighs> I need a break. <laughs> Hello, it is now 3 a.m. <laughs> it's actually past 3 a.m. But live shows have been intense today and then we stayed chatting for a while after doing the truth which one. So now I'm here and I'm incredibly tired so it's probably not going to be too long of an update but just a few random thoughts on From Blood and Ash. I only have 100 pages left. I read 200 pages of this today. Absolutely sped through it. It's so addictive. It's so addictive and so intense and I'm just loving it. Like I won't say it's the best thing in the world but I'm having a great time and it's been such a long time since I've enjoyed a book like so enthusiastically. I am fully falling for the hype train on this and I'm not even mad about it. So I will be continuing this tomorrow. Right now I have a headache, so I'm just a bit like, 
words. <laughs> I am really loving it and I'm very happy about that. Um, but I did just want to give another update as well to say that I'm basically considering going back down to two videos a week. So I have been posting three videos a week for quite a while now. I never quite intended to, it was just a thing that happened and I liked it. So I've been doing that almost accidentally for a good like at least half a year now. It started as something that I would do every so often just because of timing. So around the end of a month, you've always got like TBRs, wrap ups. If you have a haul, then a haul would go up at the end of a month, that kind of thing. And there would just be like too many videos, not enough days type situation. So I bumped it up to three times a week and just started making that standard without like officially announcing it or anything because I always wanted it to be a thing of, you know, as long as I'm enjoying it and keeping up with it, then we can do that. However, <laughs> I have got to the point in which I am just continually burned out. I've tried many things in terms of giving myself a break, but I just, it's next to impossible to have a day off when you weekly vlog and, you know, you've got two other videos to make that week as well. Even if I pre-film in advance, there's always like editing to be done, thumbnails to make, description boxes to do, promoting to do. And I think all of that would be fine until we then added in regular live shows. So I do live shows both because of book clubs. We do reading sprints every so often. I also do Patreon live shows and I never accounted for that. I've basically been doing three videos and however many live shows a week and it's just exhausting. As a kind of behind the scenes thing, that is a lot of work for like anybody. <laughs> Especially on top of a full-time job as standard. But I do also have this thing going on where I'm just like, I don't wanna go into it, but I'm just tired a lot basically um and I have to admit that I'm struggling at this point and it got to a point where I was just getting more and more fed up with my weekly vlogs because I was not motivated to actually talk to them but then I remembered that once upon a time I was motivated to do weekly vlogs and I enjoyed doing weekly vlogs and that was before I did three videos a week and live shows. So the live shows aren't going anywhere, the weekly vlogs aren't going anywhere because they are like the standard content on this channel but I think I do just need to cut back a little bit, which I'm, I am very hesitant to do because it is gonna affect my channel inevitably. And you know, it's not great in terms of how slow things have been recently, but I also need to care for myself. <laughs> and I'm really bad at doing that. Exceptionally bad at doing that. It's reached a point where I'm just stressed a lot of the time. And so I'm gonna try and go back down to a typical two videos a week, which will be the weekly vlog and then the Friday videos, which is what has always been the like standard minimum on my channel anyway. And there will inevitably be weeks where there are three videos that week, say if there's just something random that I wanna upload that's like time sensitive. Or like I said, at the end of a month where there's just like every video that's time sensitive goes up. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't going to mention it, but I feel like people may notice, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention it because it's really not that big of a deal, but also I know quite a few of you guys have actually started getting used to seeing me around on Wednesdays as well and it's the Wednesday videos that will be cut back. So just wanted to give a heads up, I guess, and you know, I hope you understand and enjoy the videos that are coming out because it's not like I'm going anywhere, my face is still going to be everywhere, just yeah, I don't know, my brain hurts. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I literally just thought to myself, oh, I'll listen to a chapter or two, like while I'm making breakfast and having coffee, and then I'll do an update. And then the one chapter that I read, <sighs> I hate everything. I hate everything. Why does this always happen? <sighs> I can't even, I can't give any context in case I spoil it for people just from like what they would guess from my reaction, but why? Why? I finished it. I finished it. <laughs> that's probably the quickest I've read a book that's this big in a long time. It's been a while since I've read any book within a week. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And I'm kind of fluctuating between rating it four stars and 4.5 because I will admit this did lose me a little bit towards the end. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm still trying to pinpoint it, but with this being my Patreon book club book, there will actually be a full review video of this book coming to my channel in the next couple of weeks or so. So I am going to do like in-depth thoughts actually reviewing this book because this is more like a reaction vlog 
So do keep an eye out for that because I am going to try and gather my thoughts together a little bit better because at the minute I felt like I just went through an absolute whirlwind of things. <laughs> it was so intense, but I did really, really enjoy it. And I just, I find the characters really interesting. I find the plot really interesting. I love the kind of politics that are coming into it. The pacing of it is really interesting because when I think back on it, it doesn't seem like too much happened besides in a couple of scenes. It didn't feel slow at all. It didn't feel like it was moving too slowly in terms of, like there was a big intense bit that I reacted to earlier in the vlog and not too much between that and the ending, even though there was like another 200 pages. I feel like there almost should have been more, but also I don't think I would have been affected quite as much had there not been that time to, you know, progress the character development and stuff like that. So I just think it really worked out. And yeah, there are definitely things that could be improved. Like I keep saying, I do think the world building at the beginning could have done with a bit more of a build up. And also, like I said, it did lose me towards the end, although I can't quite figure out why. So I'm gonna work on that for the review, but yes either a four star or a 4.5, I can't quite decide, but I really, really enjoyed it and I'm really glad I did. <laughs> I've been hyping this up for myself for so long that I would have been gutted if I didn't like it. So I'm happy, I'm really happy with that. I am however just going to quite quickly wrap up this vlog to be honest, because I have the author interview with Justin T. Cole in 40 minutes. So I am going to go and prepare backstage for that. But I have been anxious about it all day and I'm very much looking forward to just flopping afterwards. So after I've done the interview, I can be calm and have a bath and do Zumba and kind of get all the stress out of my system. Even though I am looking forward to it, like this is just what anxiety does. You can both be excited, but also terrified. <laughs> so yes, after the interview, I plan on doing nothing. So I'm very much looking forward to that, but I am just going to wrap up this vlog here because I won't be doing any more reading or anything to update on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, you'll find information to all the books I've mentioned, all my social media and other bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye.